My name is uh, Theo Rasing, Radboud University Nijmegen, uh, the Netherlands. Uh, I'm working, my field of interest is try to control spins by light. In spintronics there are two major issues and that is uh, one is density and the other is speed. And using light uh, in principle, it is possible to increase speed by uh, orders of magnitude, and that's basically what uh, let's say most of my work is focused on. As a result, we have recently already demonstrated we can indeed change the magnetization, so write a bit of information optically using 40 femtosecond laser pulses. And we're trying to extend on this work to bring this very fast switching also to the smaller nanoscale. My name is Chi Hyun Lee and I came from Cambridge University and I came here to see how other feel about the spintronics and because I was working on magnetism in thin film and some of the things which are related with the domain or motion or the memory, it's quite interesting. So. I'm Ian Applebaum and I'm a professor of physics at the University of Maryland in College Park. And uh, for the last several years, my group has been working on spin transport in non-magnetic semiconductors, specifically silicon, which is a semiconductor that has a very long spin lifetime. In other words, the spin information uh, of the electron is essentially insulated from its environment. And this has enabled us to show very long coherence lengths uh, on the millimeter scale. And, um, operation at elevated temperatures. I think that uh, moving forward in the future, one of the main um, uh, requirements for applications of spintronics is going to be to extend the results that we already have towards room temperature in silicon, uh, which of course is a material that's used for electronics, uh, is the dominant material for electronics and also to couple individual devices together to make use of the extended spin coherence uh, in spintronic circuits. Um, yeah, so my name's Adam Naylor. I'm from the University of Leeds Condensed Matter Group. Um, I first got into spintronics really doing my master's project with uh, Professor Brian Hickey, um, and that was working on point contact and wave reflection. So that's a technique where you can measure spin polarization which uh, is very important for spintronics. Um, and my PhD was focused on the search for materials with a higher spin polarization. Um, so that was, yeah, as I said, my master's project. And at the end of that, I was offered a PhD position. And uh, I found the, the sort of the, the principles behind Andre of reflection really, really interesting. And that's why I sort of carried on into the field of spintronics. So now my PhD um, has really focused in two sections. One half is, is measuring spin polarization with Andre of reflection. Um, and the other half, um, is to do with what happens when you have a flow of spins into a superconductor and a spin polarized quasiparticle transport. Um, and I did, I've just I've spent the last few months working in Japan um, on that other side of my PhD. So that's kind of the two, the two main parts really. I'm uh, Leonid Rohensen, I'm from Purdue University from the United States. And uh, uh, what uh, I'm working on is uh, I'm trying to understand how uh, electron spin interacts with the environment in the crystalline materials, uh, in the semiconductors especially, and uh, depending on the strengths of interaction, uh, we can use it either for magnetic memory um, and uh, we can use uh, this interaction to um, manipulate ferromagnetic uh, uh, domains in uh, very weakly coupled material spin can be very isolated and uh, re retain quantum information for a very long time which may be useful for quantum computing and also this interaction um, depends a lot of different phenomena which is very uh, novel and interesting in, uh, in low dimensional physics. Okay, my name is Hideo Ono. I'm from uh, Tohoku University, 300 kilometers north of Tokyo, Japan. And I'm working on two areas. One is on uh, ferromagnetic semiconductors, which, is, which, I'm, which I do basic physics. Uh, and I learned uh, a lot from the questions that I had in my talk uh, I given here. 
Uh, also, I'm working on uh, integrated circuits, semiconductors, trying to integrate uh, magnetic elements, which is spintronics elements, uh, into uh, the integrated circuit to help semiconduct integrated circuit meeting the challenges that they're having currently. My name is Xiaoli Li. I come from University of Southampton. I'm a research fellow from the Narrow Research Group. Uh, today I think this is a great event and because it's really nice for the PhD student. It gives an overview for the different part of the spintronics field and also gives uh, lots of researchers the, now the most popular current of the uh, spintronics field development and for me I think it's give me more new ideas what's going on in my research for the spintronics. My name is Stuart Parkin. I work uh, for IBM Research in California and my current projects involve uh, a number of projects in spintronics but uh, one of the most important ones is we've developed a new concept for a data storage device. We call it racetrack memory and the concept is that uh, by storing many many bits domain walls in magnetic nanowires, we can build a new type of device that could replace virtually all conventional means of storing digital data. It could replace disk drives, it could replace flash, it could replace most solid state memories and it would enable much simpler computers in the future.